I'm Jed Gilpin, and I am United. I started out in Nye Elementary School, kindergarten, and then I ended up graduating from United High School in 1986. I want to be an engineer. You get a lot of money when you do your work, and that money I can spend to go in my groceries and live, and also to buy myself a house or or pay my taxes, or, or get a car and family. When you're a kid, you're just experiencing the things that you're guided towards, but as I got older, I realized that uh, so many things had shaped my future without me really realizing when I was younger. And uh, over the years, I've looked back on that with a lot of gratitude and appreciated all the things that were done for me. I had uh, a lot of teachers that really contributed a lot, well above and beyond uh, just the educational part. You know, they had a lot of influence on how I looked at life, and, and that became more apparent to me the older I got and the more I thought about them as the years went by. The same thing with the, a number of coaches. You know, there's a little different set of circumstances that you go through trying to go through sports and whatnot. And as the years went by, I realized that some of those experiences too also helped me a lot. An engineer should, should study math and science. Uh, I started out at Texas A&M, an undergrad program, and uh, I was set to come back to Laredo right about the time I graduated. Uh, I was uh, interning for a, a local firm here called Foster Engineering. It really did a lot for me in terms of mentoring me. And uh, lo and behold, I, I uh, was at a presentation uh, presented by some lieutenants from the Navy Civil Engineer Corps, and they were very persuasive. Uh, so I really liked what they offered, and I, I joined the Navy. I came back here and talked to Mr. Foster about it. He had been in the Army Civil Engineer Corps when he was a young man, and he highly encouraged it. So I went and did that for about six years. Uh, well, actually, they made me a deal to pursue my master's for two years, so I got to stay at A&M two more years, got my master's, and I went on to the Navy for six years, and then I came back after that, ended up working for Mr. Foster, so that's how I got started in civil engineering. I think an engineer um, builds stuff and knows how to do them and do them correctly. Okay, an engineer is a person who, who builds structures and things that can last very long. Fortunately, I was prepared well enough that I actually did really well academically. Um, I think I probably exceeded some expectations of you know, some people. Uh, I had pretty high expectations for myself. I was real serious about it. Uh, I learned some, some good study skills as a youngster from my mom. My mom was a teacher. She taught at UISD for 34 years, and she was, over all those years, my best teacher. She was a, a math teacher, and so that was kind of my strong suit and kind of guided me towards the field of engineering. But, uh, you know, as I, as I got up there and, and did pretty well at school, I realized, uh, looking back, all the things that had been done to help me. That was where I first began, uh, began to notice the, how the preparation had helped me uh, get ready to go to Texas A&M and do well. I'm Jed Gilpin, and we are united. <music>